So my guest today is Chris Wild, which is head of airside operation at Manchester Airfield. But today, Chris is with me to talk about a different subject. Uh, Chris, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Vincent. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. Very good. So in April, you started uh, Aviation Action, which tagline is supporting aviation people, and you want to provide support to people hit by the COVID crisis. To go directly into the subject, who shall contact you to get support and what kind of support uh, do you provide or can you provide to colleagues hit by the crisis? Yeah, sure. Um, I mean, in short, anybody can can contact us for, for support. Um, the service is, is primarily aimed at, at people in the aviation industry and, and that's um, across the world. It doesn't have to be you know, just, just in the UK or, or Europe. Um, we are supporting people all, all over the world. Um, but if, if the service is, is of, of, of interest to, to other people who may just be, you know, outside of the aviation, aviation industry, I'd, I'd rather people um, contact us and, and we can probably signpost uh, you to, to a more uh, suitable um, solution uh, tailored for your, uh, for your need. At, at the moment, we offer, um, there's really three key pillars of, of support we, we are providing at the moment. Uh, the first one is immediate support. So uh, we have um, there's a number, phone number uh, and, and a WhatsApp um, link on the website where you can send a quick message if somebody's particularly uh, in need of, of immediate help. Um, and that's 24-7, 24 hours a day, seven, seven days a week. The second um, service, which is probably our, our most popular um, service really, which is where we we peer support and match people uh, within the industry. So somebody who's going through a particular problem potentially with, with redundancy or, or, or on consultation, or maybe they're going for a, uh, a promotion or, or, or such like at work, we will match that person to somebody else within the industry um, where they can talk offline and discuss that, that challenge or that opportunity which, may be, which they may be facing and just have those really open, honest conversations. They may never meet, um, they may only talk on the phone or on uh, on Zoom calls, but it's about um, linking two individuals together or a large group actually, because we have put people into um, into quads, uh, so so teams of four, um, and it's about just you know a, a sort of a really um, relaxed atmosphere where you might be able to ask those those silly questions or um, uh, the, those challenging uh, questions which, which you may not want to ask some, somebody else closer to, to home. And, and the third one, really, which is um, is our professional services. So, um, luckily, we've got a, a whole host of, of, of professionals who are who are uh, providing their time free of charge at the moment, and they could be from uh, from legal, um, human resources, uh, coaches, mental health practitioners, um, and um, they they provide their service free of charge at the moment to, uh, to to individuals who are going through a challenging time. Um, so, we will match them up with a, with a suitable a uh, professional supporter um, who will be able to provide them professional support uh, offline. So if someone wants to contact you, the main entry point, I guess, is uh, aviationaction.org, your website. Yeah, and, absolutely. And, and you say it's people here are supporting for free, so I assume anybody sending a call for help uh, will get that for free. It's, it's not a paying service. Uh, absolutely. It, it's totally free. Um, so um, yeah, the best the best way to to contact us is via the website, and that's www.aviationaction.org. Uh, and on there, there's a there's a really simple link there. Get to help, and it splits then into those three pillars. Uh, couldn't couldn't be simpler. Uh, aviation is is quite a wide industry, so um, we are talking here about cabin crews, I guess, in masses, pilots, but also airport workers, um, even people in in air traffic control whatever industry or do you have specialties or, or focal points no absolutely not so so whatever discipline you 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 work in in aviation we will have support for you we will have somebody within our peer or professional network that will be able to provide you with support um so we've got um you know engineering um uh, senior, senior engineers and uh, we've got pilots uh, we've got cabin crew members uh, members of airport operations a whole host of, of, of different disciplines within the aviation sector to be able to provide that support to to other individuals and, and colleagues. There are these people who need immediate help and, and that's great that you have the 24-7 aspect of the website but I can also imagine some colleagues are in 
in a critical situation, but let's say not immediately critical. Um, what kind of resources do you have for, for these people and, and what can they, can they find them? So, so some of the uh, services we're providing at the moment, uh, I'm just thinking of these which have, have come about in the last week or so. So um, we provided some CV and, and interview support uh, and that's via a webinar which, which occurred uh, this morning. Which is done, which is done by um, a recruitment company who who see hundreds of thousands of CVs and and put people forward for for interviews every every year. So they they provide some some support to, to individuals. They run webinars as well for us. Um, the other, the other aspect to it as well is is we we compare people to um, to people who can look into their CV in a bit more detail. And um, so again, we've in this last week we've we, we've sent quite a few people uh, off to uh, one of our peer supporters who has helped them develop their CV. Uh, uh, the other aspect uh, we've had recently is a, a pilot which is going through a redundancy process at the moment and we've put them in contact with a specialist um, uh, CV uh, assessment and interview um, company who prepare specifically prepare pilots uh, for, for interview and assessment uh, to get them in, in really in the right sort of headspace and, and, and fully prepared for that for that interview process. And obviously the peer-to-peer -peer support, like I said, is, is our, one of our uh, most uh, you know, used services is, is something which uh, doesn't have to be done immediately. We, we tend to pair people up within uh, about 24 hours, but um, it, it doesn't need to be done uh, immediately. Aviation Action is very young. You funded it in, in April, if I recall correctly. You are still growing. Um, at Fox ATM, we, we've seen you on LinkedIn and we decided to join and, and try to provide you with the kind of support we can, we can offer. So including that interview and we provide you with um, information from, from our database and so on. How can other individuals or organizations join forces with you and, and support uh, Aviation Action? Yeah. But firstly, th thank you, uh, Vincent, for, uh, for for you know coming forward and you know one of actual you know many messages that we're getting uh, across the board um, for support uh, for aviation action, which is you know absolutely fantastic. And and thank you and everybody for that. Um, I, I get a lot of I get a lot of questions like this, and I think people expect me to say um, money, and I want I want money um, to, to to help the charity grow. That's not the case at the moment. The 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 two sort of the two key things are is access to, to resources and um, that is, is is number one priority for us at the moment it, and that might be you might have an individual skill uh, you might have an individual um, some individual expertise that you might want to share with the, the wider aviation community um, you may have a zoom account that we might be able to make use of um, you know so it could be as little as that essentially so it's time and input really so um, it, any volunteers, any organisations or individual uh, volunteers are, are gratefully received. Um, the other aspect is, is spreading the message. Uh, now, we can't spread this enough, but I, I've got an individual mission that I want every um, person who works in aviation to be aware of, of what aviation action is and, and what it does and what benefit it can have uh, to them as an individual. So if, if we all can talk about it and we can all sort of mention it to, to one person, that will snowball and the message will, will get out and the word of mouth will be, will be extremely powerful. Okay, let me recall the address again. It's uh, www.aviationaction.org and to right. get to you per email, it's hello at aviationaction.org. That's right. Now for the rest of the interview, I'd like to take a step back uh, and, and look at the, the short history of the organization and start with it. What motivated you to start such an action in these times? I mean, it's, it's a very special time for the whole industry, which is pretty devastated. So what motivated you to start in this moment? Because I guess in your position, you are quite busy with other things as well. Yeah, absolutely right. And uh, yeah, uh, a bit of, bit, bit of glutton, glutton for punishment, I think, uh, in terms of uh, my time at the moment, but um, it's, it's a worthwhile cause. Essentially, um, where this came from was uh, my, my wife works in hospitality and um, there is a, a a charity called Hospitality Action, and um, so uh, you know it doesn't it doesn't take much to work out where the where the idea came from. But um, I I quickly got thinking there isn't something similar to this in in the aviation industry, uh, and, and and hours of searching led me to to a point where we need to do something like this. And, and if you look at the Hospitality Action website, there's lots of resources on there, and they provide lots of support. And in fact. 
uh, their, their chief executive has been a, a supporter of ours from from before uh, we, we started the charity when uh, when the idea was there. Um, so uh, I, I started thinking about this months ago before pre-COVID um, or, or pre-COVID. So um, it was just timely. The, the, the timing was absolutely right. Um, and, and I think um, it certainly paid off in, in the couple of weeks we've been, uh, or the three weeks we've been, we've been operating. Um, the need is absolutely there. Uh, and uh, we can only grow and get better and support more people. Uh, there, there, are, there are no disadvantages to this. Um, which is which is fantastic, um, but but yeah, essentially it came from uh, from an idea from from my wife who works in the hospitality industry, uh, and the need to sort of spread that that good in in, in another industry uh, into our industry, which is uh, which has got it's got a huge amount of of goodwill and um, um, and, and support, and it was about just bringing all of that together into one sort of charitable organisation. So far, what has been the hardest challenges you had to overcome with uh, Aviation Action? The, the, the hardest challenge is myself. Um, and that is really because of the, the confidence in which um, I have uh, in terms of pushing that button to launch. Um, to, um, to, to, I mean, it was, it was, I, was, I was probably scared of, of failure, essentially. Um, but, but I think that's where... I suppose the idea snowballed because when I have an idea like this, I reach out to my peers in the industry. Um, so the concept w w was exactly the same in terms of aviation action. So I, I, I reached out to a couple of peers um, that I trust uh, and, and that, that I know very well. They thought it was a great idea. Uh, and that was enough for me to, to build the confidence to, uh, to, to push the button and launch. And really that was, um, that's where I see the benefit. Again, if I if I've got peers like that within the industry who who can give me a um, a bit of a steer and a guide, then you know it'd be so powerful if we could create that with thousands of people and thousands of peer relationships across the network. Um, it would be it would be unbelievable. And to close that interview on something more positive, um, what have been the best, the most rewarding, the most touching moments so far in in this venture for you? Um, th there's many actually, and uh, and again, we, you know, we've only been going a, a few weeks, but uh, I'm touched by, by by some of the emails that that I get, some of the posts on on social media. And uh, I think the, the three key um, moments, I think, um, th there was there was one where we've had a, a pilot who has been been made redundant, and I referred to them, them earlier. Um, first of all, they reached out to me because they were being made redundant. Um, so, so quickly, I put them in contact with somebody who used to work for Thomas Cook, and obviously everybody knows what happened with with Thomas Cook. That individual now is working for for Tui. Um, so, so the person who reached out to us, I was able to peer support them within 24 hours with somebody who's gone through a very similar scenario. Um, and then further to that, we were able to take it the next step because, um, like I mentioned earlier, we actually put them in contact with with Aspect Aviation. Um, who who great company and uh, they they prepare pilots for for assessment and interview, so it was immediate sort of peer support uh, basically to, to almost download um, what what they were thinking and then we were able to rebuild them by by, by providing them with with some professional support and, and I've I've phoned this individual a couple of times and we we've spoken on email and, and it's unbelievable what you know what what it's done for him and his confidence um, which was which was absolutely brilliant. The other example, we've got um, somebody at Edinburgh Airport uh, paired up with somebody from Jet2.com. Uh, and uh, the, the individual from, from Edinburgh Airport, who I've known for, for a lot of years, was actually doing the supporting. Um, however, I got an email from him saying the actual supporting is doing him the world of good, never mind the person he is supporting, which was absolutely fantastic. I just thought this is, this is absolutely brilliant because it's, it's actually helping them both, not, not, not just the individual who's, who's being supported. Um, and then finally, there was, there was one more, which was, it was actually our first donation, which is, which is quite special, really. Um, but we had a, a fairly senior engineer um, who'd, who'd been made redundant. They had their own company, actually, because they were consulting. Um, but they've had to wind up the company and close it. And, and, and unfortunately, they're out of work. And again, we managed to pair them up with an individual who's got 30 years in, in, in maintenance, um, uh, uh, maintenance management experience. Um, we managed to rebuild their CV, uh, and I know they've attended a number of the webinars as well. 
Um, and for somebody who's been made redundant and, and is probably watching the pennies, uh, managed to, to, to make a donation. And I just thought, well, that's a real good indication of, 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 of what they think for the service we've provided. So, um, so yeah, it's, it, it's touching every single day. We're getting, we're getting people coming through to us to, to say thank you, which is, which is unbelievable. It's great to see something and, and someone so positive in, in this crisis time. So once again, if someone wants to get in touch with you, it's www.aviationaction.org. Yep. And you will find links in the video, in the post everywhere. So Chris, thank you a lot for your time today. No thank problem. you for that. I hope your snowball will, will keep growing. And if there is anything you want to ask, please feel free. No, thank you, Vincent. And, and thank you for reaching out. It's, it's really appreciated. It's pe people like you, you know, uh, that, that uh, we absolutely uh, need uh, with, with our cause. So, uh, so, so really appreciate it. And from our first conversation uh, late last week, and we're now doing a podcast um, a, a, a few, uh, a few days later, you know, so thank you for your, for your speed and, uh, and, and your time. Well, thank you for your work and you're welcome here again anytime you want. Thank you, Chris. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.